Were you recording when you said that? I did. I was not recording. Good. I liked it. I liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> do, that one. Do, you want to say, do you want to say it again? So you want to share with the class? Okay. Now he's I took a big, b- big bite of pizza to really <laughs> lend in the professionalism to yeah, this yeah. one. Okay. So Napoleon Dynamite, I think it's a pretty accurate title for the movie because it really blew up. Uh, I also think it's an accurate title for the TV series because it really blew Welcome to Bottle Episodes. Bottle Episodes. <laughs> Hello, Napoleon. Hey, Pedro. So, welcome to Bottle Episodes. It's a podcast where we watch a bad TV show and then we watch the highest rated episode on IMDb to determine if it ever got better. I'm one of your co-hosts, Daniel Crow, And I'm David Piccolomini. And this week, we're joined by two guests. Hi, my name is Kendra Dossie. And my name is Madeline Murphy-Smith. Boom. And we're watching Napoleon Dynamite, the TV series. The animated series. <laughs> the a- w- not to be confused with the live action series they made. Yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want people to know it's animated series. because I, that's interesting to me because I, I figured Mormons were like against animation. Yeah, because it's too fun, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I do want to apologize to everyone for suggesting it uh, because yeah. I, I think it, was it you. does seem like we all did not enjoy it. Yeah, we, we all not, suffered. We all suffered. And we all did not enjoy the animated reboot of the most successful Mormon propaganda film in the <laughs> 20th <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Is Napoleon Dynamite Mormon propaganda, would you say? I, I f- low key, because it's like, oh, Mormons are so charming and cute. And like, oh, they shit. totally think black people deserve to go to heaven. <laughs> That's what the film says. Wait, did they well, say that in the movie? They said black people deserve to go well, to heaven? If you're married, if you marry Kip. If you marry, yeah, okay, if you marry yeah. Kip. If you marry Kip, you're, you deserve to go to heaven. I, I just want to yeah. say, I don't think you need to apologize because while I did not like the show we watched, <laughs> I'll, I saw potential for they could have probably made a good second season. Really? Do you, I saw saw, really? you saw that potential in, in them? Okay, maybe. There yeah. were a couple jokes where I was like, I could see the tone that could get this to work. <laughs> like Uncle yeah. Rico sees an American flag and he's like, every time I see that thing, I wish I hadn't abandoned my platoon or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's a decent joke. joke. Yeah. There's but, a lot of stuff around it that it's, yeah, it's close to being, fu- it's it's clearly like not, I don't want to say well-made because the animation is not attractive, but I think that's mm-hmm. kind of on purpose. Yeah. But it's like, it is clearly competently made. Yeah. It mm-hmm. just feels very much like it's missing on a, like a lot of the jokes just miss and don't feel accurate to the character. Yeah. You're doing this like Napoleon Dynamite, which was just a huge movie about like a farmhand yeah, thinking he's an good at an aspiring farmhand, an aspiring yeah. farmhand who thinks he's good at things that he's not. Yeah, but he actually—that's the twist of Napoleon Diamond. He is good. He helps his friend win the school election. Yes, and then he goes by to the, dancing, by dancing. Yeah, yes. get, and but no one thinks he's gonna be good at dancing. Sick dance, he, he is good yeah. at dancing, and yeah, that's one <laughs> thing. The animated series, I feel like it was a, a bit meaner towards the characters in a way. Yeah, oh, where interesting. I, or like, uh, or like he himself was meaner. I mean, he, he was himself like was this meaner. Horrible person. <laughs> that's true. I think it. But I think the portrayal of the yeah. of like the main characters is a little bit more cynical in the animated series. Yeah. And I think what made people like the original film was that it was not like an entirely cynical portrayal. It was like, oh, look at how weird they are, but they all love each other. And it was based off of the like Jared Hess's like his actual childhood kind of growing up. And he was like, I just combined all these weirdo characters into like a few people. And that was my life. So, but the animated series, it's like, Oh, look at these fucking idiots. Do you know why they got all cynical in the animated series as opposed to the film? Because we're eight years after a bunch of people thought, wow, I'm going to be real famous. <laughs> I think, and yeah. Happened, yeah. And now yeah. Now they're back to voice themselves mad. in the show. <laughs> yeah. Because the whole cast is back. The whole yeah, cast is Yeah, it is the back. whole cast. Except yeah. for the black lady that marries Kit. Yes. How how would they you propose animating bring. a black person? It's never been done. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> the, 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 the crayons they done? need don't exist <laughs> yet. <laughs> the they don't have brown the crayons. Listen, I've need. been using flesh tone. <laughs> <laughs> the crayons. They never show up black when I use flesh tone. 
<laughs> I will say, so reading about or remembering yeah. Napoleon Dynamite, I was like, oh, they pulled a Scott Pilgrim because the Scott Pilgrim anime just came out and they yeah. brought back all of the cast. But that was but also it was good. good. Yeah, yeah, it was also good. And it wasn't, <laughs> the difference was it was good. And also yeah. <laughs> all of those people in Scott Pil- Pilgrim have like great careers where I'm not like, oh, they just had to do this. They, like, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, like Brie Larson's. They had so to stuff. like find the time to do it. Whereas yeah. I think that the cast of Napoleon Dynamite was like, we have all the time in the world. But we have nothing weird, but time. Weirdly, like, the guest stars yeah. are doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, but yeah. It is, it's yeah. a Fox. Yeah. It's a Fox animation yeah. thing. So like, yeah. it does have a lot of that star power. Yeah, they had, uh, yeah. Amy Poehler, Jermaine Clement, and Sam Rockwell. Yeah, they yeah. have like, very famous guest stars. I don't yeah. know. They did how it happens, but it seems like every show we watch on this podcast, there's just one Academy Award winner thrown in there somewhere. <laughs> they find their way into every single one of these well, shows. Because if you could get them. You do. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And you're yeah, like, I will pay you half the show's operating budget just to like <laughs> just to... say three lines yeah. as a random character. Yeah. So more people will watch instead of just leaving the TV on after football. Well, yeah. the because Christian movies will do that, but it's just Eric Roberts. They oh, really? Just get Eric Roberts. Well, he's only a nominee. He's just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> he's great in Runaway Train, though. Everybody <laughs> should check it out. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, <laughs> and then you know the issues <laughs> I don't even know Eric who is Eric Roberts you, you would know him he's, if you saw him he's Julie Roberts' brother Yeah, he's, he's the reason Julie Roberts has a career oh he was establishing I like, know that. would you like put my sister in things oh wow and then they were like she has less of a drug problem than you so we'll keep her in things <laughs> yeah great she usurped him yeah, yeah she did yeah. she aired really his Brockovich right up <laughs> <laughs> She no, prettied you... his woman. <laughs> she really she, did. She really she did. She mysticked his pizza. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're, we're gonna... He's in the dark night. He's like a mob <laughs> boss uh, that Batman throws off of a, a I like that fire you're just, escape. You're telling us still, like, we, yeah. <laughs> well, he... look, we could talk about Napoleon Dynamite, or we could talk we, about yeah, Eric we could talk about anything else. <laughs> He's in the music video for Mr. Brightside. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, big. Uh, I wonder how much he got paid for that. Shit. <laughs> he will show up to anything He'll provided anything. he doesn't have to move rooms <laughs> literally though like yeah. there are i i so i do a show where you make fun of bad christian movies too because i'm uh on brand yeah uh, <laughs> and right. i have one uh thing and it's being critical yeah. <laughs> stuff that it's yes. real easy to do that too uh so uh he will just be in christian movies because you can just pay him like a certain amount of money and he just shows up and he'll sit in an office space room yeah and read whatever lines you tell him Wow. But it's clearly it's clearly oh, like great, Eric Roberts will, will rent out an office for the day. Yeah. And then be like, any filmmakers that are interested, I'm sitting at this desk all day. <laughs> you give me your script, I will read it and you can film it. You give me I, my script and give me a yeah. script of five thousand dollars and I'll say whatever you want. I have seen multiple terrible movies where Eric Roberts is just like, I know that office. <laughs> He, I, he's in this Christian movie right now, but I saw him in a in a parkour based movie in this same office. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> I mean Well, Five thousand dollars. That's yeah. Five thousand dollars in one day to sit in the office. That's that more money than I make in a month. I mean, I. It's, <laughs> I was gonna it's say embarrassing, that's not always. But... That's not always more money than you make in a month. It's often. it's always more money than I make in a month. <laughs> <laughs> you like, just did a college gig and made more money. Well, no, no, you didn't I make didn't more make... money from the college gig, but yeah, you did no. make more money in the month. Because you did the college yes. gig. I mean, and that's it's... why everyone should do college gigs. Even <laughs> yeah, though they... Like, you, guys, you guys sound like my parents being like, Dave, have you tried why? to get on SNL? T- <laughs> <laughs> I think doing college gigs is a slightly more realistic goal than getting on SNL. But I mean... I mean, sometimes. To say? Slightly. No, it's Sli- way more. Slightly. Weirdly, yeah. really, really, Eric Roberts, despite having more credits yeah. than anyone else on IMDb, I don't think has ever been on <laughs> SNL. So it's hard. So it's pretty true, difficult. True. But we also know a comedian who I he was barking at the pair a few years ago and now he's on SNL. So anyone can Anything do it. Can Although happen. he's a nice man. I'm not going to throw him under the bus. He is a nice man. Do you know who I mean? Yes. You know who I mean. Yes, right? I know who you mean. Do you mean. remember when he was barking at the pair literally like four years ago? Uh, well, I'll say this. Uh, or even... Sarah Cooper was. Yeah. Well, if you don't know what. Uh, uh, Barking is where you stand outside and you hand out comedy show flyers. We are on a podcast. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, you guys know about barking, right? You guys but, uh, know about I'll say, selling your soul. Sarah yeah. Cooper was barking for my indie comedy show Stop. in February of 2020. Stop. And, right that, now. and, and then, then she had the TikTok. She had the Trump oh TikTok thing blow up. And it yeah. was like within it was like within like four months. <laughs> it was just like, That's oh insane. yeah. It's crazy. Were you ever yeah. like, hey, what's up? No. 
Because I know better. I know yeah, better. There is nothing. Good. We were like, hey, remember how, hey. I, how you stood in the street and barked for my show? Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to give me a writing job? I don't know. I would love to bark for your... <laughs> Can I bark for your Netflix special? Yeah, if anyone... <laughs> hey, Listen, speaking of I... people lip-syncing nonsense, Napoleon Dynamite the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. Let's bring it back. The cartoon. Let's bring it back so, to what we're actually talking about. Yeah. So it, it starts... So this was... Uh, I would describe the pilot, but we had a lot of confusion about what the pilot was. Because... Yes, okay, so... Because Tubi I, is insane. Tubi's insane. Yeah. Also, I'm an animation nerd, so I'll talk about it. Often <laughs> when they order things for animation, they'll say like, hey, we want these few episodes first. So like there was confusion because the first episode that was ordered and put into production was not the first episode that was aired. Mm-hmm. Also, only six episodes were aired. So like keep that in mind. Yeah. A whopping yes. six. Keep in mind how much worse it could have been. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> only uh, six. But Only so six. we want so to be miss also to be mislabeled them. Yeah. Yes. To be mislabeled, to be mislabeled them. all of the yeah, episodes, which is why we were confused. So we played the first one, but it wasn't the first one that aired, but it was the first one that was put in production. So we're counting it as a pilot. Yeah. Uh, but to be <laughs> it was the third one that was it was supposed to be like the third one in the list. OK, so we'll just say which one it was. So yeah. That yeah. People stop we being watched as confused. the episode Liger Town. Yes. Yeah. Liger yeah. Town. If you remember Napoleon Dynamite's. Uh, fascination with ligers. His love he, of ligers. It, he it, keeps it going. It goes into fetish territory. Yeah. A little bit. Yes, yeah. it does. It's, a it's very yeah. weird. Also, in the movie, doesn't he invent the concept of ligers? Isn't he like... No, they're like, just his favorite no, animal. They're, oh, no, yeah. They're, oh, yeah, you're right. Ligers they're just his favorite animal. Ligers I was, do exist. I was an annoying 17-year-old. Let me tell you, <laughs> ligers exist. Ligers do exist. Do they Where? have... Where do, yeah. do they, they live? live? Where do they live? Like, in, like... Zeus. Cleveland. Yeah. What? They live they just, in Cleveland? Just they just live in Cleveland. <laughs> like you don't they don't they happen naturally. You have to yeah, make no. them happen. You have but to have happen. people made them? Yeah. yeah. I feel like you guys are doing a trick on me. No, no, no. it's true. Should I Google it? But here's okay. my question. Is it gonna, like is, it's gonna blow your mind when you find out what mules are. <laughs> is it <laughs> <laughs> listen, I've heard of mules before. Are, in my life. Are a horse donkey. <laughs> Are ligers? Is it like, the situation with like white tigers where they're all like inbred and kind of like they don't slow? breed? Well, they don't yeah. breed. Well, okay, you can't, you're right. You can't but... breed a lig. You can't have a liger Which breed. Which brings us to you're the right. issue of the episode. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Eternal logic was wrong. Yeah, because I was that was I the was main watching issue. This episode steaming, <laughs> waiting to talk about it. We had to get to the bottom of this because <laughs> there's a liger that has a baby liger in the episode. That's not how that works. But they can't breed, right? But no, they they're sterile because they're like hybrid animals. Oh, yeah. that, Actually, wait, we could be mistaken. It could be that Tigons are sterile. No, they're both sterile. They're both, they're sterile, both okay. sterile. They're both sterile. But, they're, but they have high IQs. They're not like the... I, I don't know that anyone's ever done a survey. <laughs> what, I don't know how smart they are. IQs? I've not checked... Someone was like, we need to find it's, out. It's actually, it's like chat GPT yeah. ligers, Liger. humans on the intelligence they scale. <laughs> There's no way chat GPT is at the top. <laughs> you know, ligers actually wrote right. a lot I'll, of cat. I'll, uh, I'll the- tell you <laughs> what. Let's yeah. determine chat GPT's intelligence right now by, ask, by asking their opinion on the Napoleon Dynamite animated yeah, series. Yeah, let's, right. see, what see, yeah, see, what see what they say. Yeah, see what they think. Okay, we'll while think. I do that, Daniel, will you pull? Will you talk about this episode and what happened? All right, so yes, the episode please. starts with the opening credits which finally we get to see Napoleon Dynamite in his underwear. Thank God for that. We've been, we waited eight <laughs> long years. We've all been, been waiting. We, we want to see begging. that Mormon kid in his underwear. <laughs> so, <laughs> Absolutely yeah, begging. It's, and then it's just him <laughs> chasing the bus. Yeah. And hopping on the bus as it pulls up to school. It does feel, I, we were talking about how there's a lot of Simpsons writers on it and it feels very Simpsons. Well, there's like three, but like, yeah. well, yeah, and by a lot we mean, yeah. But three. that's all that they needed but, to write every episode. <laughs> yes, yeah. because it's there's only the, six episodes. The writers are the creator of Napoleon yeah. Dynamite and Simpsons writers. Yes. Yeah. And it does have like the beats of the Simpsons, you know? Like, I feel like the way that the timing is, you're like, oh, this is like the Simpsons, except for like none of the jokes are funny. But it's like the timing is the same as like the Simpsons. I think. Well, it is very similar. I think the you know? problem is, is that uh, this. Like the tone is so different. Like the Simpsons tone is so different because the Simpsons yeah. tone is mean. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, a sa- it's like yeah. explicitly a satire. Yeah. yeah, you're making fun of a dumb like funny. modern family. Yeah, and arguably it's- Napoleon Dynamite is what started the the so called nice core that we still live through in yeah. many respects today. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, some you're of right. it. Yeah, yeah. More- which is see, why- Mormons fuck up everything. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. I I I know. I think I've met a Mormon. I should be nice. Yeah, yeah you were I've just been, telling us you met a Mormon. Well, okay, City. but now nice. now an that ex, person's no longer Mormon. That person's so an ex Mormon. 
Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I think that's their true. siblings are nice. I had, a okay. good, I had a good sandwich in Salt Lake City once, so shout out to that Mormon. Thanks, Ooh. Mormons. Thanks, I had, I had good, too. actually, I had really good there. Mexican food in Utah. Oh yeah, what? you and I went was to that, that was that the Mormons though? No, no. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, that was probably not the Mormons. I don't the Mormons. Not them credit. I feel like no. their cultural cuisine is like a casserole. I have a, I have a funny I have a funny yeah, so I, I dated an ex Mormon, but her family was oh, still really? Mormon. So I went to uh, a wedding mm-hmm. with her family, and uh, they they were cooking burgers, and the mom was like, uh, she was like mixing up the ground beef, and I was like, oh, what'd you put in there? And she's like. Oh, do you think I should add seasonings to this? Oh my god! And I was like, you're like, yes, I'll take over. Oh I've no! Got this. Oh no! I will say this for oh, Mormons god. regarding their cooking ability or lack thereof. Mm-hmm. When I when I've gone to Salt Lake City, I have found that you can get like pretty good baked goods. Yeah, mm-hmm. I believe they're like yeah. people that knows how to make cookies. I would yeah. sugar, that. Well, because yeah, they don't have sure. regular drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah they can't drink oh, coffee. Yeah, 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 if you yeah, yeah, if you take sense. it, it's sugar. It's they, all. They, like they Amish people got have soda. really good baked goods too. Yeah, they're allowed to yeah. have soda now because caffeine mm. is weird. Yeah, they're like that's okay. Caffeine had is caffeine okay. Caffeine free Coke for years. No, they but have, they, they, they have regular. They can have regular soda now. Wow, because it's like not the technically Lord. the same. Yeah, it was the Lord decreed. Will allow but I've it. also heard the only reason why Mormons aren't allowed to drink coffee is because like one of at one of the first like Mormon bars, which already you know it's not alcohol. But I think a dude was just like people are drinking too much coffee, and he banned it. <laughs> people like, are getting too hype i get i get off like the coffee the thing with mormonism is like it's such a recent religion that i feel like it, there's just i mean there's wild stories in every religion but in like islam and in like more conventional christianity it's like oh like a thousand years ago this happened but in yeah. mormonism it's like well it's 150 like, years ago a guy was mad because people were drinking <laughs> coffee and now no one can drink coffee. it's joseph smith right yeah so where i'm from in rochester there's a town like about uh 40 minutes outside of rochester palmyra where there's a bunch of mormons because they think that's where joseph smith like found the tablets or something yeah and they have a thing <laughs> called Hill it's just a of judaism like, i know like, they're like that's where he found the stuff <laughs> And then, and they have a thing called Hill Camorra, and I don't really know what it is, but it's very popular. I like, I like these Mormons <laughs> being like, oh, can we find a more boring place to live than Salt Lake City? Yeah, they're like, why don't we live in upstate New York? Although I have done shows there in Palmyra for these like very Mormon audiences, and they like were really into it. Although it sounds like you've done shows in Salt Lake City. Did you feel like it was like Mormon audiences there or was it not, no. the, not the Mormons? Yeah, no. no it's, you got no. the non-Mormons coming it's out to the shows. They're really excited <laughs> when you do religious material, actually. They're like, yeah. ooh. Like, oh, my God. They're <laughs> like, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> you don't know. Don't you know who runs this place? I'm like, they're not allowed in. It's a bar. <laughs> 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 but also, one of my friends from high school moved to Salt Lake City. Like, my friend yeah. was like, oh, my boyfriend proposed to me with a gummy ring when we were both on acid. Now she lives in... <laughs> Salt Lake. Why City. though? Why did she? Why did she move to Salt Lake City? I think it was just like cheaper. Oh, okay. Well, all right. yeah. she's sense, not Mormon now. Yeah, I just I don't think I would want to live somewhere that is known for religion. How about Preston, Idaho? <laughs> yes, the let's setting. bring it oh, back yeah, to sorry. fucking Napoleon. <laughs> so, okay, we didn't even yeah, explain what happened. I'm sorry. Tell starts, us. Yes. Uh, tell uh, us after the happened. intro with yeah. Napoleon, Uncle Rico, and Pedro and Kip having an argument if you uh, burp farts and sneeze at the same time if you'll explode yes so they run a test on napoleon they give him <laughs> they just give him soda and then put pepper over his face no, and yeah. cabbage oh, yeah, yeah cabbage. cabbage yeah and soda and, soda and pepper it, yeah, that's it the... doesn't blow him up but it does propel him quite high into the sky <laughs> a full like sound boom happens yeah. yeah so then when he comes back down and lands he breaks his grandma's transition lenses yes yeah yes which he... i want to note surprisingly few jokes about transitions lenses i know they feel like something that would be hacky yeah but yeah. you don't you don't hear them but you they don't, don't go them. into that yeah. no so so napoleon has to get a job and then yeah. the grandmother makes kip stay behind and like read her read her, <laughs> read her read her erotica <laughs> he has yeah. to get a job to pay for the new transition yes. lenses. so yes. he decides yeah. there's like apparently a liger breeding facility in Preston, Idaho, <laughs> that the guidance council. But how did he know not about. know? He yeah. didn't know. But he's obsessed with ligers, but he didn't yeah. know. No um, one told him that, about the yeah. one that is twenty miles outside of town. <laughs> no, he yeah, ran I don't know. there. How did? Oh, yeah, he so ran like, there in three within minutes. walking distance to his house. It's walking, di- I did yeah. not realize yes. that. Yeah, yeah I don't so, know. How did he? How did no one ever tell him? That? I, I That's guess actually one of the problems. Uh, Chat GPT has a problem with the uh, the show. Really? Oh, you got Chat. What did Chat GPT say? 
it said uh, it's got some unrealistic. It's got uh, a good voice cast. (laughs) Well, well, it's just the same people. It's the same people. So they do great. Yeah. And then uh, some hilarious moments that capture the spirit of the film. But it's got a slow pace, a slow pace and relies too much on slapstick comedy and running gags that can get repetitive after a while. Yeah. They repeat a lot of the jokes from the movie. And I was like, oh, you're referencing. Shows a a lack of depth and complexity in its characters and themes. Most of them are stereotypes of characters caricatures don't have much nuance or growth throughout the series yeah some of them yeah. are also inconsistent or contradictory in their behaviors or motivations why does napoleon act so differently depending on who he's talking to yeah. why does Kim- he there are a lot of why questions <laughs> yeah chat asked- tv is really thinking about this why does uncle rico say i'm sorry even when he is not why does grandma wow. always say i'm sorry even when she is not oh i did God. not see anyone yeah. say sorry i don't remember anyone saying no sorry no ever. At the, the second one we watched pedro and uh napoleon apologize but yeah uncle but Rico not Uncle Grandma Rico or Grandma. Oh, yeah, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> I think that the chat GPT is just like having like an existential yeah. breakdown. The show has a lack of continuity and coherence. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah. That is true. I like that but we've also, outsourced the podcast to I think- AI. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, so here's the thing. With animation, I think yeah. there are some shows that could like pass off with like lack of continuity like obviously like Aqua Teen Unger Force you're not expecting continuity yeah. at all but since this is an animated show based off a of real life movie like an in-person movie that is very much tied to what it's like impressed in Idaho I yeah. think like the lack of continuity makes it more like that's more glaring in this show than it would be in freaking like Harvey Birdman attorney at law. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's there's a level of silliness they're trying to put on a, such a grounded movie. Yes. Yeah. That like unless you go full the other way and make it wacky or like because they're still trying to have grounded characters kind of like or they're not ground. They still tr- mostly feel like the characters that they're supposed to be yeah yeah Yeah. but but everything around them is so wacky that it's hard to be like why why are they not grounded in this Yeah. yeah and i know you mentioned this briefly david and this is something that has been going on in adult animation which is so sad but the characters are kind of ugly yeah it's like and i know yeah but Napoleon looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. Napoleon looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. He does. But like we don't like we could have adult animation not look ugly. Yeah. There's so many we could like shows. But I didn't you but this also was in 2012, right? Which I feel like is like peak ugly peak horrible. Yeah, like Family Guy and American Dad and all that kind of stuff. I feel like you also you're getting Bob's burgers at that point. And like a lot of the Bob's Burgers is so good. Bob's Bob's Burgers is great. Yeah. But it is an ugly animation style. That's yeah, true, that, I guess. Yeah. The design is kind of like whatever. But like, I like but it. I it's like comforting to me. I don't nice. know. Well, it's yeah. almost like if you have really well designed characters around ugly animation, mm. the juxtaposition works when you have like That's a charming true. Lauren Bouchard script. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bob's Burgers is so good. I was actually just thinking about that a couple days ago because I was watching like I was watching all these like uh Halloween episodes or some I can't remember. Or this does feel episodes. like the anti Bob's Burgers. It is. Oh yeah. Because just, Bob's Burgers is so good. You know what? Yeah. So good. This should have the tone of home movies the other show. I yeah. love yeah. that movies. actually that would have been uh, great they home just, movies is also one of the best animations it, I've ever seen like this home should movies this should have been an like adult swim wiggly. cartoon yeah that's really yeah, yeah. It'd be but like, like more fun I, I feel like it could be an adult swim cartoon but it would I, I would prefer it not to be based on the original movie like if yeah. it was like similar characters but not called Napoleon Dynamite maybe I'd want well, well you I just, I you like just want really got, a different you, you, show I just want a different show yes. yeah I feel could like I, you were just like I'd watch it if it was a different show yeah could I, I watch a show about small time Iowans that would yeah. be I want to that's Idaho. what I Idaho Idahoans <laughs> Idaho. Idaho. Idahoans Idaho. 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 I, I Idaho. Is it Idahoans? <laughs> I don't know. It's Idaho. People Hoss. from Idaho. Idaho's. Nutmeggers. That's actually the term. Nutmeggers. <laughs> that sounds so weird and like racially charged. I know. It's I just a term. Not. It's just because it begins with an N and ends with an ER. I know, I that's like all that's it. happening in there. <laughs> Remember we watched we watched Rudolph a couple days ago and we were like, there's this really weird, like very racial moment where he goes, no double mind's going to be seen with a red nosed reindeer. And the way he says it, you're like, damn, this is a, like, slur. a slur. That's a slur. He I says love- it so with such <laughs> hatred. I Love how, Madeline, on this show, you're talking about everything else you've seen that's animated. I've watched a lot of other animated things recently. But Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> okay, well, Napoleon so, Dynamite was so very bad. He works bad. at a liger farm. He works at a liger farm. <laughs> he, and he runs there. 
He, he runs, runs there. There was one I joke. To do it. I tried to do it. It didn't work. There was one joke that was like kind of funny in that one where, what did he say? He was like something oh, about these, they brought are, them. Oh, yeah. It's like. The uh, magic to. Oh, are they magic? And he was yeah. like, did they bring magic to our childless marriage? And he was like, no, that's not what I meant. That was like. <laughs> kind of funny, oh, funny. That one was no, little, i really like that one yeah. that's what like i'm it. saying there are small building blocks a little that, bit yeah a little they, bit they yeah. could have perhaps reflected after the six episode season and made a decent second season perhaps maybe yeah perhaps um yeah we would be covering then, parks and rec if it only had one season <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> actually might, yeah that right, is yeah. yeah that is true but yeah. i will so yeah so napoleon he works he, at the like he farm. works at the liger farm a liger gives birth we already yes. talked about how that's not really it's able not to happen real. Uh, I'm gonna step and out then, of the room right now. Just you guys keep going. And scream. And then, uh, and then Napoleon faints because I guess he hates seeing the nature of like birth. And in a, he's never in, seen a vagina at all. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean that's accurate. Um, and then in a vision, the like King Liger like presents himself to him in like Shut a up. dream, and it's like you need to return the magic. To yeah, the it's Ligers. like an Egyptian. He has abs and yeah. like, but also he. It's he's voiced by a James Earl Jones ripoff. Totally like like who oh. voiced that Liger King? Oh, <laughs> what if it was like question. Keith David or something? It might have been. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like other men who have a deep voice. Yeah, yeah I we probably would know. We probably would have known. It's a but deep it, voice man. Yes. who like deserves better than the Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> it was John Heater putting on a voice. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually just John Heater. <laughs> Wait, Shasta is that the name of it? Yeah, the... yeah Shasta. I think so. It was Diedrich Bader. Oh, oh good wow! For Diedrich. Good oh. for Diedrich. Okay, Diedrich Bader, our favorite character. Yeah, Diedrich actor. Bader. He good came- for him. <laughs> our favorite character. Actor, Diedrich. This is a room of Diedrich fans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, We're I'm a Bader head. Yeah. I'm a Bader head. Love him. My I, mom. I'm a Bader male. Loves- <laughs> Bader man. I'm a Bader male. <laughs> Bader male. male. You're all Bader males. I'm a Bader male. Um, <laughs> the only good Batman, Dietrich Bader. Dietrich yeah. Bader. <laughs> Hell yeah. We just started a Dietrich Bader fan club. I like that. W- what you came up with there. Bader male. The Bader male. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. Bader we males. That. I joined that fan club. Let's all, let's start just the four of Guys, us. Guys, send your Nobody dues else. to join the Bader males. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. P- I don't know what a PO box is. But. Dietrich Bader your males. Your actual yeah. address. So I, I do want to give props to Diedrich Bader. Yes, good for Just him. for existing. I hope he got that bag doing this animated series. I don't Probably think this not. was not the yeah. one. I mean, well, like a little bit of a bag. A little a bit tiny of bag. bit of a bag. He got, he got, he got uh, something. Uh, accurate compensation for his <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Um, so yeah, the episode, so then, okay, so like, what happens? The so, comes to him in a so dream. He steals, he steals a baby. Cop, adopt. Which I will say. Oh, yeah, adopt. Okay, the Liger, <laughs> one compliment I'll give the show to the storyboard artist is that the Liger Cub is, like, very cute looking. It's great. And there is one scene where the Liger Cub, like, falls out of a swing and falls, and I laughed a little bit, but that's yeah, not there, the there writer's a little bit the of you know what bugs me? humor. That's story. You know what Wait, bugs no, me about it got the- kicked. It got oh, kicked, it got by kicked by a llama. To, it got, yeah. Okay, it got kicked, <laughs> kicked by a llama. and it fell, and I thought it was funny, but that's the storyboard. But do you know what bugs me about the Liger Cub being cute? We've established in the episode that the grandma cannot see. Yeah, yes. But she sees the Liger Cub, and she says, and she it's, says cute. it's cute. So cute. No. No, yeah, she's no, blind. No. She didn't no, get her I cannot no allow internal this. logic. Actually, yeah, and I don't think that they ever resolve that. She never gets her glasses. Yeah, no, no. He yeah. does not. Does no, even she get stays blind. At the Liger probably not, because he stole. No. He stole from you're, his no, you're employer. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't he's probably that's a, that's a conflict. He broke his contract for sure. <laughs> he definitely he did. Um, he never even like he did not fill out a W two. No, he certainly did not. He did not do anything to this childless couple. And the Likers damaged Uncle Rico's van, van yeah. and the house. Well, they yeah. killed him. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. actually. So when he steals the Liger, he's like hiding him around, and uh, the Ligers find out. And the Ligers, when Napoleon meets them, are lazy. Yes. They're watching TV because yeah. they're like zoo animals. They're just like slothing around because they don't have they to fight. They eat go-gurt. Yeah. They eat go-gurt. No, they eat portable yogurt. <laughs> the lawyers portable. told them you can't yes. say they, go-gurt. It was, oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Portable, Wait, yogurt, portable and yogurt and French toast. Oh, French, French toast. toast. Yeah. And so then all of a sudden their baby's been stolen. So the Ligers are pissed. They go into yeah. rage mode. Yeah. And they start terrorizing the entire city, including getting the mayor to run out of the town. We yes. had a real oh, family wait. guy gag. Yeah. And then the Ligers also. Yeah, that was a very family guy-esque be- uh, gag. But also the Ligers kill a cop, right? They straight up kill <laughs> a cop. <laughs> they, Ligers, murdered, they murdered a cop? The Ligers said a cab. They were like, yo, <laughs> this cop Ligers is not going to get our oh, back. Oh, you steal wait, a cub. They're going a cab. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> well done. Good job, David. Take a bow. <laughs> Say good. it again. Let's let's see. I'm actually gonna put that We're at the beginning of the instant, episode. Instant replay. <laughs> He said a cup. They steal a cup. They'll say a cup. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, what did they kill a cop? I when, wasn't oh, that, like, the cop calls the mayor's office and is like, "Oh, like this majestic creature is eating." Oh my yeah, head. No, oh you're right. Oh, they like kill him gently. Yeah, like, uh, like, well, he gently, gently like, pulls him out of the cop car with his out. teeth. Yes, you're right. He's like with, killing him like, gently by the head. Yeah, him out of a car. You're right. He did. It is implied that that man dies. Yeah, or is severely injured, or is decapitated. Okay. Um, <laughs> While all of this has been happening, Napoleon has been feeding the Liger Cub uh, milk from his llama Tina. Yes, Ooh, yes. the is, llama is Tina teat. pregnant. How does she have milk? I don't. It maybe do they just llama. have it all the time. I don't know. She just does always she just has always has llamas. Just got heavy titties. It's yeah, the, it's a, that's like, the uh, thing about llamas. Meet the parents. <laughs> <laughs> I have nipples. Can you milk me, Napoleon? <laughs> and if it's a llama, the answer is always yes. 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 <laughs> yes. So the liger yeah. drinks the milk and then gets like hype, like he gets, literally like, superpowers, on steroids, and then starts wrecking shit up. As yeah. well as like the liger. I don't know. I guess pride. What's the yeah. for a group of ligers? It is pride because there's a pride pun later, and then. Napoleon goes, yeah. whoa, double entendre. Oh, yeah. yes, you're right, you're right. By Shasta um, himself. Yes, by Shasta. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, Shasta the Liger. Shasta himself, the Liger. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of him. The head of Liger. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Not just a cola anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the head Liger. What even happens next? I don't remember. Um, uh, no, the, he gives like, the Liger back. No, like, no. Or no. Tina Liger, kicks the Liger. Well, so the Liger. The of Ligers. Oh. Yeah, the Ligers chase them down to their house. Yes. The Ligers can also we, talk to each other. We get subtitles yeah. for the Ligers. Yeah, They're not the Liger mindless. Language. They are actually incredibly intelligent. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because I think we forgot to mention that they are a result of a government program. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh we right. Nuclear bomb. Bomb. Yes, we forgot yeah. about that. Actually, in that little. <laughs> that was like, important. That like the Harry S. Truman thing. Like I feel like if I saw that on The Simpsons with different animation, it would have been funny. But for me, yeah, that was, it was I, kind of. It I had the internal logic funny. of the program before the nuclear bomb was Ligers. Yeah, that is like actually it's, very funny concept. That's kind of it's funny. Not uh, Napoleon funny. Dynamite. No, I it think also, the reason why nothing's funny is because it's Napoleon Dynamite. But <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite has a specific <laughs> style of humor. Yeah, and when you just. Try this other style of humor. It's so weird. We yeah. all know what a Napoleon Dynamite joke is. I feel yeah, like no, Napoleon right. Dynamite is also pro-American imperialism. Like, I feel like... <laughs> I feel yeah, like Napoleon Dynamite, right like, I mean, even the creators, I, I feel mean, like they'd be like, yeah, Enola Gay should have happened. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strong thing. They're going to get I do. I do love the idea. John, <laughs> I mean, Josh, wait, wait, John Heater is still Hull? like, they're still like Mormon. Oh, yeah. It's so, Mormon. so like, they Jared, may, there's whatever. a solid chance that like Napoleon Dynamite would be like, yeah, I'm voting for Trump. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, like yeah, Jared Hess scary. is like, actually, we should kick out brown people. I will keep. Brown yeah. Kicked him out of the show. Yeah. Yeah. He La really Fonda, did. Yeah. Yeah. Part of this. yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Um, this is, I there probably was, said some strong one, things. There were two but... votes for Pedro, one yeah. vote against. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were like, well, I guess. Um, yeah. I, uh, well, hopefully if they listen to this podcast, well, sorry, uh, Jared Hess, if us. you have, if you do not like American imperialism, you need to release a statement. But I believe. <laughs> send a letter to Kendra Dossie. Please send a letter to me. But I feel like, yeah, that joke would have been. Same PO box is joining the <laughs> yeah. beta mails. Yeah, send a letter to <laughs> <Yeah>. Kendra Dossie. <laughs> send your dues to the beta mails. But yeah, so like they get the liger back and then the like mm -hmm. the well, they, they chase them to their they house. They chase them to their house. But they won't go in because of a no There's solicit. A sign. No, solicit. no solicit. That joke was very much a funny, Waco moment. Yeah. 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 You guys are turning around on this. I hated that joke. Yeah, I kind of like that joke. It was, I, it's kind of goofy. Liked it. It the I, problem, liked I guess it. it's the problem like of they're ligers. going for such a goofy tone. Yeah. In a show where like it's all awkward comedy. That's mm. the joke of the show. I think it would, like you were saying before, I think it would have been funny if it was in The Simpsons. Yeah. Like I think that those jokes like would they would work in the symptoms i would work in like a but also it, they wouldn't talk they would point and go oh, no so yeah. and like shake their head yeah. and it would be in a treehouse of horror episode yes, yes. You're right. oh you're so right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. um true. so yeah there was that soliciting joke uh because i really hated it in this show yeah. i was like they're they killed a cop 
<laughs> but they, they can't solicit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Logically doesn't oh, make sense. Another thing that happened in this episode <laughs> is that through a chain of command, Pedro is now mayor of Preston, oh, yeah. Idaho. Somehow he became the mayor. And then Pedro's They voted like, for oh. him too hard. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's a and ruler. then he's like, oh, I'll help you, Napoleon. I'll help you with this Liger Cub. And there's like a... The, Pedro's entourage I think they just mean family yeah. like or like the racist term for family yeah the, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah there are weird race things like when Pedro's mayor his yeah. his car is like a low rider with oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's up and down yeah and uh, his family and then his family there's one joke where it's like oh like I have some like tattoos of tears but now I'm actually crying at the reunion of this Liger cub with the yeah. Liger family right now my like, tears are not just the tattoos. Not just tattoos yeah yeah. Um, yeah and it's like the tattoo means you killed someone in prison right yes or that, that is what he had three, I, I believe people. it because I, I believe Idaho arrests Hispanic people on site and throws probably. them in jail oh, yeah. yeah I mean probably yeah uh, yeah so it, that was it was like weirdly racist it, it felt weirdly racist yeah like a lot of things in well, the show were very racist it feels like 2012 of like it's like true, yeah. you have mormon head writers there yeah. was yeah. that four-year gap yeah. like actually we could do anything because our president is black so we yeah it's, it's fine they're like it's, yeah he said it's cool he said it's cool i called him and then the episode ends with Pedro being like, I'm mayor for like five more or, or until five o'clock. So if you want to yeah. do anything illegal, I could pardon you, which like that's that part and, was kind of funny. And then he very metaphorically harvests trash. Yeah. <laughs> then he for, throws that's his dream. Tra- his dream is to put trash into a dump truck. Yes. That's his dream. Which was interesting. By the can. So, by the yeah, can. Yeah, by the can. can. He does not. He, he does so not. He was doing it. Kind of, of right, but not exactly right. Wow, he yeah. just got pardoned from uh, <laughs> 15 counts of vandalism. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pedro said you could do anything illegal, and what he chose to do was throw trash cans yeah, into a dump truck. Presumably also, he got yeah. pardoned for stealing the cup as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I would hopefully. So. I would hope so. Hopefully, because he did um, steal I will say, a rare animal. Deb could do much better, but she could. I know, as you were saying earlier, David, that I think uh, in... <laughs> Mormon and more if if you're Mormon you uh just kind of deal with the men you got it's or you true. turn gay which I would recommend this for is any not Mormon movie Deb though turn movie gay. Deb they she, they don't she's a small business owner I yeah, know I so like right. Deb and she more totally in simps the... for Napoleon in this I know yeah, yeah she she she's so desperate for him it's kind of gross it's like, well yeah. she's seeing him dance now so yeah that's true yeah. I guess but we still don't understand is this before or after according like, according to Jared and Jerusha oh you look this God I love that Jerusha. Drusha's a name I have not heard since Baptist school. Oh, yeah. It's a name so, I've never heard in my life. According to the creators Drusha. of yeah. Napoleon Dynamite, the events in the animated series take place after Pedro's election, but before oh. Kip gets married to LaShonda. So that's why they don't have or her? LaFonda. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Please. I was racist against black people. My own people. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, I, don't know, I don't know if correcting that name made it less racist. I know. Oh, no. It was so LaFonda. Much a, it was LaFonda. Pretty much a lateral move as yeah. far as names go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, uh, that whole storyline was like insane, too, in the movie. How yeah. he meets... LaFonda online and then they fall in love and he sings a little song. I don't know. That but was it, like, like insane. I mean, it was wild, but yeah. I feel like it worked for the movie because it's like, oh, like their love is like real. It's I guess. just a weird nerdy man who fell yeah. in love with this woman. But in Oh, the they show, are they're doing yeah. the juxtaposition of yeah. like, look at this yeah. nerd, look at this hot black yeah, woman. Yeah. 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 And From how Detroit. Did, yeah. You would never expect did, them to get together, <laughs> but guess what? It's a movie. But yeah. we're it, doing it. They would have introduced her in a second season. Maybe like, like, get the, they were maybe. saving shake her. The, they were the sa- what maybe. were they? What else were they saving for the second season? <laughs> Just, she might have been booked when they were recording. Oh, yeah, okay. maybe Lavanda has a busy life. I do love the She's idea that well. they were like, guys, if you want to see Lavanda, you're going to have to get us to a second season. <laughs> <have> <laughs> we're holding her ransom. <laughs> Out of like every character, out of like, everyone, LaFonda is the one. We're gonna animate, <laughs> dominate you. That's what <laughs> this was. Oh, by the way, before we get to the bottle episode, uh, yeah. then we should move over to that one. Yeah, they. This was a mid-season replacement for Allie Gregory, which is just one of the worst. Yeah, no, I think I saw one episode. It's Holy that shit. show where the Jonah Hill plays a Stewie rich- knockoff. A rich, like, seven-year-old who is the child of two flamboyant gay men. So this is the boss baby before the boss baby. This is, I, I, in a way. Hey, guys, if you're enjoying the episode, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast. 
on whatever platform you use. Really appreciate it. Also, you can check me out at DPIC Comedy, Daniel at Daniel F. Crow, Madeline at Madeline Murphy, at Kendra Do- and Kendra Dossi at Bossy Dossi. So check us all out on Instagram. You can check Kendra out on a Nada Yada Yada show in New York City on 119. And Madeline Murphy's upcoming dates on both her Instagram and TikTok for her stand-up and educational talk about queer storytelling at colleges and libraries starting in February. Uh, You can also check out my comedy special, Goblin King, on YouTube and me on TikTok at LitGrandma69. Anyway, back to the episode. Okay, so let's. So then we tried. So we watched the bottle episode. Yes, which yes, took us yes. a while to figure out because we of couldn't Tubi. figure it out because Tubi, Tubi is, is not great. Yeah, Tubi needs to email me and apologize. Send, on our same PO box. Send a letter same. to Kendra. <laughs> I'm expecting apologies from Jared. I want Jared has to Jared condemn. Has. Condemn, condemn, you condemn, condemn until you Tubi. condemn Tubi. <laughs> Tubi. <laughs> Your silence is violence. <laughs> Your silence is violence, Jared Hess. Uh, but also, so Tubi needs to send me. Yeah. Tubi needs to apologize to you for a lot of things. We, yes. Yeah. So we tried to watch. Ep- like we went through literally every episode yeah, to find uh, the bottle episode, <laughs> which F- is the F- final F- episode it, that it, ever it pointed per- out, Daniel, because we didn't even know that we were watching the wrong thing. Thanks. I really keep things held together. <laughs> yeah, you were here. like, this isn't the right one, and we're like, oh, I. <laughs> I have no sense. I wouldn't have yeah. known that. So good thing you said something. This one's called FFA Future Farmers of America. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, which is in reference to the movie because he's like wanting to be a future farmer. A future farmer. I guess that's like the industry in Idaho. You farm. Yes, you're a farmer. You... It's just a weird scene in the movie, though. It's like a deleted scene that they left in for some reason. Yeah, where he's like it picking up all those anything. chickens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, I think I do kind of remember. I He's haven't like seen Napoleon the chickens. Dynamite. I know I haven't in, seen it in like fifteen years. Yeah, but I remember I really liked it when I yeah. was like fifteen years. I old. remember I watched <laughs> it and I was like, I don't get it. And then six yeah. months later, everyone fucking loved it. Really? And I was like, what? And you were like, I don't understand. I don't understand, but it's okay. They, they re-released it sometime after it was originally, and because yeah. they added the scene where he marries Lafonda. Oh, they added that? Yeah, thing? that wasn't in the first cut. Oh. It's, I didn't know I knew okay. this much about You Napoleon know a lot Dynamite. about You are this, the Napoleon Daniel. Dynamite historian yeah. of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, for real. I, did, I didn't know they added that in. Yeah. I actually did really like it when I first saw it, but I think that I also, when I was a teenager had bad taste in things so maybe that's why i liked it i will say i also like fucking team. family guy I, which when she... I, by the time i had seen it everybody had quoted it so many times oh, yeah, yeah. So it was like ruined for you. so i just watched it and i went i'm like but i was too young to like figure out i was like oh am i just watching a mumblecore movie mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah but you you kind of were yeah yeah, yeah that's exactly it is, what's it is happening it's basically what it it's is the most successful mumblecore movie ever yeah yeah it is yeah. And I think it is low-key Mormon propaganda. But I, I You keep was, saying that, but why are you saying that? Like, so what, do you, is anything made by Mormons Mormon propaganda? Is Yo Gabba Gabba yeah. Mormon propaganda? Wait, how about imagine Yo Gabba the Gabba. Aquabats, is that Mormon? The Aquabats are Mormon. Yeah. yeah. But what like, about Imagine they create, Dragons? Yeah, they created Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> they okay. Imagine Dragons totally <laughs> Mormon yeah, propaganda. Yeah, I mean that's I'm Josh probably. Groban. Yes, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Propaganda. I love yeah. Josh Groban. He played Sweeney Todd when I went to go see it. He did a great job. This is the most. <laughs> oh, I've listened to that recently. It was great. Really to good. Me. It was really. He's good. great. He has a great voice. You remember uh, I went to go see him in no, Sweeney Todd? You know I do remember. He was quite good. Madeline looked at me with the purest eyes and was like, "I loved him when I saw him in Sweeney <laughs> Todd on <laughs> Broadway." Good. On Broadway, he sat two rows he in was... front of me when I saw Tim and Eric. Laughed harder than anyone else really? yeah oh nice <laughs> i okay. love that story i do love that that's story. so nice oh i love that about him um but yeah this is so josh groban what, what a great were, guy what you were saying about uh napoleon dynamite yes. i had that experience with borat oh uh, like everyone yeah. had already been like, everyone had wife. quoted it and then i watched <laughs> it and i was like okay uh, These are like, things I've right. heard people say. I gotta recant my statement that the second season would have been better because they would have actually tried to bring Borat into it. <laughs> <laughs> there there would have been that episode. They would have had Sasha oh. Baron Cohen. Yeah. Yeah. Borat, I don't want to hear about your wife anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty that good actually, hey, are you, Do you still have Chat good. GPT open? <laughs> I don't. No. Yeah. Have Chat GPT. Generates an episode of Napoleon Titan right, the Animated yeah, Series. Yeah, guest a starring script. Borat. <laughs> write a script for <laughs> <laughs> guest oh. starring Borat. God. God. Did you ever watch the Ali G show? 
Anyone? Yeah. Did you guys did. watch that? I was so into that when I was like, I don't even know, like 14, 15. That's very funny. That it, was it funny. Is funny but funny, was yeah. it actually funny or was it one of those things I remember was funny because I was like 14? No, Probably. That, that yes, still, yeah. that that still, I remember that it. show was really funny. I'm sure some of it does not hold up. Yeah. No, but then when I watched Borat, for some reason, like I remember my friend Elle was like really into the LEG show and they were like, you're going to love Borat. But I did not love Borat because I thought the LEG show was funny and I thought Borat, I don't know, something about Borat made me my little heart hurt because no, i was I, I felt bad for the people i was like why is he yeah, doing this no, to these people no he because those <laughs> people just, didn't know it was going to be a satire it's, it's well, I, yeah they're they're aggressively yeah. being hateful like yeah well, they, sing a fucking, they sing that whole song like throw the jew down the well do you remember that yes like, that's in that's, the ali g show is that in the ali g Wait, show it too is? well didn't it yeah oh, that's where it, it started is that yeah. where it came from oh i didn't realize well, then that. i i'm conflating the two but you i just remember feel bad for someone if they willingly sing that song though. no no you're right i don't feel bad for those people i i felt i what i felt there was that it was like a little scary that they were like this is hilarious but it's like but these people don't know that they're like in on the joke so actually these people really genuinely like think this that we should throw the jew down the well yeah and that was what i was but then the people that i do feel bad for are the people who are just like these kind-hearted people who he's doing these like horrible tricks on and I feel like th- there's something that feels a little unethical about it. And I also think Sasha Baron Cohen is just like a little, I don't know. I think he's funny, but I also think that like he got a little too full of himself because everyone was like, he's a comedic genius. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think the thing with the Ali G show is like yeah. with the Ali G show, he's basically playing like a white rapper. And yeah. that's a that's a category of people it's very easy to make fun of. But then yeah. he was like, oh, let me portray like someone from a poorly understood ethnicity yes <laughs> uh and like I, yeah yeah I mean, so like it, part of the borat thing is the reflection of what the racism looks like yeah 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 yeah, yeah like, I, heard, I heard him say that the basic idea behind it was he was trying to think like who are the people that people are still comfortable laughing at yeah so it was them yeah. and then uh bruno and then the idea being if you laugh at them, it, you're shining a mirror on who you actually are as a person. Yeah. 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 If you're laughing at rather than with. Yeah. yeah. But I guess I, f- I felt bad because the year Borat came out, I ha- there was an exchange student in my school actually from Kazakhstan. Oh, God. And people oh, were like, no. where are you from? Oh, my God. Oh. And also, but um, also the thing is, it's like their portrayal so of Kazakhstan and Borat is it's like eastern europe basically and that's yeah. not what actually kazakhstan it's like it's yeah. like in central asia yeah. and this poor girl had to be like oh i'm from kazakhstan and people were like where and she was like have you seen borat and people were <laughs> like, like my wife <laughs> she's yeah. like actually this is a real country <laughs> and she's, she's like, like i'm supposed <laughs> to be learning about america but all i've learned is that americans are fucking idiots <laughs> People were just coming up to her like, King like of my the castle, wife. King of the castle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You will so, never get some. You will just... never get this. You will never. Oh, God. Yeah. If I was that girl, I would have. Uh, I felt bad. America. I felt bad. Um, I would have flown away. Uh, I can't <laughs> remember exactly what country it is, but in Sweden, mm-hmm. whenever when they play the Muppets, since they don't want to call the Swedish chef Swedish, <laughs> they call them some other nationality. Yeah, no, so apparently, funny. Swedish people will go to that country really? and make the Swedish chef noises. <laughs> But then in that country, like, the Swedish chef they're is like, sweet. It's just like, yeah, Swedish like, people just yeah, do that. That's how they talk. <laughs> I, I don't like, know why you still reminded me of that, but it did. <laughs> no, that is so funny. All right, guys, we got to take down the okay. Swedish chef, yeah. Borat, all these cultural appropriators. How dare they? How dare they? Send us a letter. Yeah, they apologizing. Will. I want a letter okay. from Jim Sasha Henson from Beyond the Grave. <laughs> okay, Henson. someone we should send an apology letter to though is Sam Rockwell because yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Sam Rockwell. What else? He, he was in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I know yep. is such a, <laughs> what a strange what? reference. He, I, know, I mean, he, I love Hitchhiker's he, Guide, but yeah. I do, and That's you're it. wearing the shirt. Yeah, I am. Uh, I love the book, it. not the movie. Oh, okay, I, okay, you're right. The right. movie is like, okay, but he was in it, right? Didn't yeah. he? He played Zaphod Beeblebrox. He right? sure did. Yep. Okay, so I know him from that, and I know he's That's been it? in other things. Yeah, he's he, an Academy Award winner. Oh, I don't... <laughs> like, he's been what, in wait, other things. Wait, what? what? Three billboards outside Emmy, yeah. Missouri. Oh, oh, I never saw yeah, that. Yeah, I never saw that. I did see... I did see the Hitchhiker's Guide movie. He's in uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's been in a lot he's of things. He's been in many, many things. Charlie's Iron- Angels. Iron- oh, Man. I've seen yeah. Charlie's Angels. Yes. Iron Man 2. I'm plays not a huge George Bush Marvel in Vice. Fan. Oh, I still haven't seen Vice. Wow, he's been in many a thing. He yeah, has he's, okay. he's a famous <laughs> person. Everything. He's a famous actor. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright. <laughs> Wait, is Wait that a minute, we Mr. have to Wright? talk about uh, this episode, he's a, though. He's in, uh, the last the, episode. I just saw a trailer for the something highly called rated Argyle. Episode. It's coming out in Argyle. <laughs> okay. In theater soon. He's in a ro- romantic tickets. action comedy with Anna Kendrick. We have we have stuff talking about him, though. 
Because we yeah. need to, we have to talk, talk about him. We, we, we got to talk about him. We got to talk about him. But we so have to this talk episode, about this episode. FFA, yes. John FFA. Heater, uh, Napoleon Dynamite, yes. uh, is an expert farmer. He he gets uh, asked a bunch of quiz questions at home. He nails all of them. He rubs dirt against his gums like it's cocaine yeah, to identify does. it. Yep, yeah. nails yeah. it. Uh, and he, <laughs> he gets Pedro to help him with the FFA because he's like, come on, buddy. We're great friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, he, first he has another partner, but that partner drops out. Yeah, he, that partner is like I'm actually a bully now. Oh, he partners up with Napoleon's bullies. Oh, so then Napoleon yeah. needs a new partner, and he enlists Pedro. Yeah, Pedro's hesitant at first because Pedro's like I don't know anything about farming. Farming, and then there's a montage of them robbing a bank set to Paul Simon. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was all like, their yeah. adventures yeah. they've had together. Yes. Yes. No, it was like a, a daydream. What, no, the, the last one didn't happen, but the rest of them did. <laughs> yeah, because because one of them was of, robbing because of a bank. course in the United States. Uh, Latino people are not have nothing to do with the agricultural trade. And <laughs> you know, it's it's not like we're like uh, paying people a few cents for a huge gallon of tomatoes. So that would have been, that been really awful, that, though. Yeah. Oh no, no, they should they should have done it. But a big no. issue. Napoleon Dynamite just be like, uh, come on, Pedro, you're you're Mexican. Doesn't you your can mom do harvest tomatoes at the border? And Pedro's uh, like, you can't say that, man. <laughs> So then they, <laughs> Pedro, like, my oh. mom says you do all these things. <laughs> <laughs> so then they, Pedro agrees to go. Yeah. Um, and then they show up to the competition. They allude, they allude to the dance competition about how good uh, they work together. Yes. Yeah, there's yeah. a photo of Pedro and then Napoleon Dynamite Which, in the shirt that says, in the logic Pedro. of the show, would have only happened a few weeks before. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. But they're yeah. reminiscing back to how they won the election together. And how they're, but the weird thing is, is Napoleon Dynamite is so mean in this show. Yeah. He's, I feel like he's, he's very like using mean. everyone. No, he is using Deb for her. He <laughs> is lusty a, attention it, towards him. He's a very <laughs> unlikable character in this show, and I haven't seen the movie in a while. But in the show, I'm like, I this hate this movie, man. He's like nicer. I hate this team. Yeah, okay. in the movie, he's nicer. So yeah. then uh, they move. So then they go to the FFA and. Uh, when they're there, uh, he starts getting uh, schooled by old uh, fucking what's his name? Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell, yeah. Sam Rockwell plays a buff boy farmer who buff intentionally got held back a year so that he could beat Napoleon in this competition. Yes. Buff boy farmer. Yep. Yeah. Uproot your whole life to yeah. show someone up. At a... Uproot? Is that a farming joke? It is. <laughs> and then Take another bow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do another instant replay. Uproot. Yeah. <laughs> Uproot. Okay. <laughs> but also this... this uh, farmer who purposely held himself back a year has a hot fiance who yeah. seduces Napoleon via tickling. I think it was Tara Strong. Yeah, Tara, yeah, no, oh, that was yeah. probably Tara Strong. Yeah. Okay, and she's and her name is Nicole, and she is hot, and she has buttermilk skin she has and buttermilk livestock skin and thighs, livestock thighs, which sounds. I don't know if I would want to be described that way, but Wasn't that's what Napoleon queen, I think you'd be, it'd, it'd be very confused if you had buttermilk yeah, skin. Yeah, if someone described yeah. you as having buttermilk skin, that would be strange yes. of them to do that. Uh, yeah, my skin <laughs> is not that food product, I would say. <laughs> We're back to crayons all over again. <laughs> yeah. Do you um, think that you have livestock thighs, though? I, Probably not. I don't think so. Do you think I, I have livestock thighs? No, I don't, I don't think anyone... <laughs> I think anyone can find Drive livestock. my body. <laughs> I don't think... Only I, using farm terms. I don't... I think anyone Your who is a human... Your straw hair. I think anyone is who is human does not have livestock thighs. They That's can be sickly say. livestock, That's though. Fair. Yeah, I I would just describe that person as sick. Yeah, I don't think your I'm, chicken. I'm dying. Remember, guys, livestock thighs away. can be chicken legs. That's yeah. true. I yeah. mm, I I still would if just. That's the matter is else. Nicole is a hottie with a body, and yeah. who among us a livestocky you know, body? Yeah, yeah, with a livestocking body, and who among us hasn't been tricked by a hot woman? And <laughs> Napoleon is tricked by a hot woman, v- but like via the, tickling, via tickling. Like it's I, they yeah. don't. I think she's they just tickling tickle his each nipples, other. though. She's like rubbing his nipples. She's distracting yeah, him sexual. from the game. Yeah, yeah. Because now uh, Napoleon uh, can't judge the dirt. Yeah, he's too busy flirting all day with yeah. her. Before you describe it, the one thing like, we have to flag this as an adults only episode. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's getting pretty hot. It's getting pretty hot. And the, heavy. the one it's line reading guys. I thought was funny was when they ask Pedro about the dirt, and he's like, "It's good, I guess." <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> yeah, kind of funny. Kinda funny. Uh, but, <laughs> Pedro, he was in a hole. He was in a hole, and then <laughs> Left and then alone they made the career wise and in the show. Yes, oh. everything Yo, was no. not going well. Efrain Ramirez is like. 
a DJ. You t- mm. you told us that he's a DJ. He's he's <laughs> he's also he's, a crank. You you yeah. I was gonna that, say like, he's a crank. You're saying he's, that like as if that's like good. You're I, like I don't know. Maybe he's a well. great DJ. Do I don't you know think his life. The, the thing is, okay. as far as I can tell, right. it doesn't seem that difficult to be a DJ. I mean, I agree. And that's like, like so. If you yeah. can be a little bit famous and be a DJ, that probably is good. Probably money. a nice yeah. little easy living right yeah just, just being a dj playing music DJ. being like i was Super. in napoleon and they're like, oh my God, a podcast for this to watch napoleon dynamite <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so wait so nicole seduces him and then and then pedro's like you've let me down and then napoleon's like don't worry tomorrow i'm, I'm gonna, gonna actually and i'm gonna break it off with her tonight break it off with this and then but he, yeah, doesn't, but he doesn't and then nicole is like meet me in this pit meet and me then this, at, this midnight. Pit. at midnight at <laughs> midnight and then like they Napoleon goes to the pit and Pedro's like, oh, I don't think Nicole even likes you. This food is f- fruit is well, fake. Because Pedro was stalking him to see yes. if he would yeah. leave, leave in the middle yes. of the night. Very wacky. Well, and who hasn't stalked one of your homies to see if he's meeting up with a mysterious woman? <laughs> with know? If I saw Napoleon thighs. Dynamite in public, I'd follow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, actually, no. I'd be like, where the fuck is this weirdo like, going? Yeah. ends up to murder. Yeah. But then this is where it gets really crazy. This is is that then Nicole buries them alive yes and just their heads sticking up to their necks well that's like they almost escaped that's because they almost escaped i think the original plan was that she was going to murder these yes just gonna bury napoleon dynamite in dirt (laughs) yeah and then literally bury them alive and then it's revealed friend could win yes it's revealed that her fiance is like uh wants to win ffa and she's like we yes and she's like oh we need to like kill them to like get rid of them so that we could win and then sam rockwell's character announces this in front of judges which i feel like if you wanted to do an easy wrap-up of the episode in like a simpson show if you would be like oh i thought i murdered you then everyone would be like oh, and then he'd yeah. be disqualified but they keep it going yeah they yeah. just gotta say it they're out loud they're not worried about, about it, it. They're, not they're not worried keep about it freaking going not worried been about you, know, that murder. you know murder's legal in idaho right <laughs> they're like that's fine you're allowed mormons to... are cool with murder <laughs> mormons not caffeine ha- yeah hate coke but hate you're allowed coffee, to bury people alive with a bulldozer and also yeah. where did she get that bulldozer from well, it's, a farm. it's a farm. Oh, yeah. convention. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are, they just have, okay. You plant, <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> you plant a bulldozing <laughs> seed, and then it just grows out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody's raised some fair points here it was <laughs> you never seen a bulldozer tree well, have you never been to idaho <laughs> oh and one of the things that they had to do too was they had to save a baby from a well well i thought it was just a baby but then sam but then, rockwell rescued kip and then who i guess is dropped a him back into yeah. the well yeah and then they left the baby there on the side of the well. And the baby was, was about to sway to a song and she almost fell she back almost into fell the well. back in. Uh, just, there was a lot of weird stuff happening. Okay, yeah. so then they go, they have to deliver the farmer's pledge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The pledge. By the way, during this whole time, there's a B story where the rest of the family just loves perving on a group of... No, because their house is infested with daddy long legs, so they're yeah. living in, oh, in Uncle yeah. Rico's van. So they're just... And fighting. Uncle Rico that that is a peeping happening. Tom. Yeah. yeah. So now they're all peeping. Well, peeping Tom makes it sound like he's like watching people get undressed he's like <laughs> he's spying on a family he's watching a family eat dinner and like de- which is like, like almost basically weirder. be deconstruct he's that's like creepier though yeah no, that's definitely a little bit weirder um but he's like oh yeah this naked. like this husband's cheating on the wife and the wife has a pill addiction and then the daughter has been shoplifting and it's yeah like, and that that's an interesting B story um but <laughs> <laughs> i guess and then they come dig them out for no reason yeah. Well, no, yeah. it's like Rico oh. has a wolf ear. Oh, yeah, Rico he goes oh, yeah. to a taxidermist. He has a wolf ear because a taxidermist God, sewed it on him. That's how they got because the thing is, so he has like these a are sixth clearly sense. talented Simpsons writers. Like yeah. the the level of like setup, we're gonna make you a, your house is infested with daddy log legs. We're yeah. gonna make you a peeping tom. <laughs> You're gonna get beat up so bad you have to get stitches. To get but instead of ear. going to get stitches we're going to send you to a veterinarian where you can get stitched up quicker. Yeah. Or no, a taxidermist. A taxidermist. Not a taxidermist. Yeah. You're right. A taxidermist. They're used to working on dead things. Yeah. Uh, which apparently one of the few non-problems in the entire show is they take it to a taxidermist and it goes off without a hitch. It's fine, yeah. Uh, and then they show off a wolf ear and then he uses that wolf ear to give them super hearing to hear them. And you're like, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's about, I, it's kind of it has this like little sound effect too where it's like yeah he can he just, yeah, he can, <laughs> it's radar it's sonar because yeah, he hears yeah and then he's like oh no they need me yeah and then he pulls why is he broke then <laughs> i don't know why is he living in a van know. if he can know. if he's got super hearing <laughs> Go work yeah. for the FBI. <laughs> this is our finest assassin. Well, he could hear people from 60 meters away. That would be helpful for a spy. Yeah. It would be. It, it would be hugely be. helpful. It would be. But, you know. Yeah. Well. No. Old Wolfie. Codename Wolfie. Is. Old Wolfie. Is. <laughs> but, so he hears yeah. them and then they go to save them. And then Pedro. Oh, and, and the way the, they save them is insane. They, too. they grab them by their necks with like jumper like, cables. With jumper, jumper cables. cables. Which yeah. if they like a mother cat that, with a kitten and just pull them out. They would have snapped it truly, their necks. This but, is <laughs> such a fox animation show. It's yeah. peak with fox the Napoleon dynamite skin. Like a yeah. hundred, like every step yeah. of it is like we want you to accept the realism and minutia of Idaho living. Also, we're gonna jumper cable these guys. Yeah, that and that's the thing. So this episode, I think it's the best rated. I think it was the better of the two I've seen, and you could tell it was written by a guy who wrote for The Simpsons. But I don't. I it just it it was like too much of a mashup of too many different things. Okay, so uh, yeah, I would I would agree that it is an improvement. Yes, yeah. it might be the best that the show has to offer. And it's and the last one, last one that aired. They might have gotten the tone right if they had gotten 13 episodes even. Maybe. But I think the thing with that, with this is, uh, part of the problem is even this episode is the most grounded compared to the Liger exhibit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. And I think that's like, that would be kind of what, oh, the, the episode ends, by the way, with Napoleon Dynamite being unable to be charismatic about this like speed, this like re- thing he has to recite. Yeah. Uh, Sam Rockwell. Yeah. Like, it's like some like, rights of being a farmer yeah and sam rockwell does a good job at it and they're like "Uh uh-oh sam's gonna win it and then pedro sings his way through which okay here's one thing that you could have totally (laughs) improved so when pedro he like pulls out a guitar and i was like wow it would be so funny if they hired a separate voice actor who's like actually a singer to sing in this very beautiful like strong voice but they actually just had it was just Pedro. it was just pedro <laughs> but it would have been funnier if it was like a oh like yeah. it, they have, the opposite like, him dj a song yeah, yeah. maybe yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. have been well that's the, way the thing that they're doing with the dj like it's they're setting up the reverse of the napoleon dynamite from the first from the movie yeah, yeah. where yeah he's instead of him dancing to save Pedro, Pedro's yeah, singing Pedro's to singing save him, to but he's not a good singer, yeah. so it doesn't work the same way. Yeah, I, like Napoleon Dynamite's like a weirdly good dancer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, as I said, you should have written for the show. I guess here's then, here's the thing with the show yeah. is like the show could have improved, but most importantly, I think it should have never been made. They yeah. should have given yes, some agreed. money to a more original idea series. And yeah. they did. And, and it was called Alan Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not, wrong. Like, you're not never wrong. Mind. You're not wrong. So we can't do this. Okay. Well, I mean, th- <laughs> there's tons, but I'm sure there's tons of other interesting animated shows that could have been made. Yeah. That aren't Alan Gregory or Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I feel like there's a middle ground. And maybe okay. one day they'll, they'll, Get new crayons and all kinds of shows can be made. <laughs> one, day. <laughs> one day. One day. One day when they get the new crayons. Daniel's never heard of the Proud family. Uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is it set in Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure not. Yeah. Chicago? Yeah, it's very Actually, Idaho. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the Proud family <laughs> takes place. I'm not sure. Where I the think Proud it's Chicago. I have a vo- I have a feeling, but uh, maybe. I I was never really a Disney Channel girly, so I like Sorry. I could I I'd probably like it if I watched it again now, but I was like mm, I'm gonna watch Nickelodeon instead. Oh I spend every wow. other weekend with my alcoholic dad, so I watch whatever was on TV. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would I change about the show? Great question, Dave. Uh, basically, it is a thing of I think it's a writing issue of like you have talented writers who are talented in a different thing, and you need almost a, he's the wrong person time period wise, but you need Joe Para style people, mm. right? Because like oh, you're you so need right. people who yeah. are comfortable in silence and a little bit of awkwardness that will push that kind of like envelope a little bit on that end of it, so that the pacing feels slow on purpose, as opposed to these weird gaps where there's pacing and that there's manic joke, manic joke, manic joke, explosion, manic joke, yeah, back down to slow Idaho pacing, manic joke, manic joke, manic joke, yeah, yeah, no, I agree, I right. agree. What do you got, Madeline, Daniel? Me- 
Okay, us? Wait, well, who's first? Uh, you first. Go okay. ahead. What would I change about the show? Yeah, make it better. Um, oh my God. Y- yeah, I would just not, I would not allow it to ever exist. You would wow. afford it? I would, this is I would the tolerant you left you've been hearing about. <laughs> Interracial <laughs> lesbians cancel show for not being good. Cancel a show set in Idaho. Yeah. Set in our heartland. <laughs> we are about farmers. We are These good aborting. white Americans. Yeah. <laughs> We're aborting the white American show. We're All because one character suspiciously was not in it. It was probably... <laughs> Because they didn't include LaFonda. <laughs> no, if okay, here's the thing. Fox if La, News. If LaFonda was opposite, in it, wait, wait, wait. this is the opposite of us condemning Nazis. Maybe if LaFonda. No, if yeah, LaFonda was Fonda. in it, I still, maybe, maybe would, have that, it. still would have canceled it. You still would cancel it? No. Well, but, I would okay. get LaFonda. I would get LaFonda another job in a better <laughs> okay. show. Okay. That's what I would. You want, you want the LaFonda show? Uh, yes, yeah, but they had made the LaFonda. LaFonda, LaFonda, LaFonda. Let's go. A sitcom about Kip and LaFonda moving to wherever LaFonda is from is a Detroit. more sensible that might show. Be. Moving actually, on up. That I would, would be like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a great show. Yeah, like actually, I, I might I would enjoy watch that. that. So All that's right. like what that's what you would change about it. Change it so that it's about Kip and LaFonda. No, I would actually change get actual <laughs> voice actors. Mm. Oh really? Because oh. they their voices yeah. are just slightly different from whenever they made the movie anyway. Yeah, because they like, were like eighteen when he played Napoleon Dynamite or whatever. True, yeah, yeah and it's eight years out. So he doesn't sound perfect. <laughs> yeah. So just get an actual voice actor. It's a different talent than acting. It is. That is one thing. As that is by Diedrich true. Bader killing it in this episode. He can do it. Bader do it all. Bader actually, Diedrich Bader. Bader, Diedrich Bader played a lot of different voices. Yeah. He, yeah. he has his main voice, yeah. but he's doing a lot of different actor yeah, parts because yeah. they're just like, yeah. Tara just, Strong probably too, probably well, did a few voices. Yeah, I don't think yeah. she was in the original. I think she's she actually is just a voice actor. Yeah. 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 But yeah, voice acting is a different skill. And I think like, uh, I mean, yeah, even John Heater, it's like, oh, it sounds like him, but like it's not. A little fun. off. It's yeah. a little off. And also, yeah, it needs to be kind of fun because it's animation. It's like goofy. It's not yeah. just like, ooh. It's like, okay, we get it. <laughs> but that's his whole thing is being like, That's Ugh. his whole thing. Yeah. And, and, All right. Yeah. You know who else that's their whole thing? H. John Benjamin. <laughs> and he's <laughs> been good. working it for a he long time. A okay. He, of- he, <sighs> he has a cool voice, though. That's the thing. He has a very cool voice. And he's a good actor. True. So he's good at voice acting. I will say, mm-hmm. I think Patrick Warburton kind of has a similar thing. He's a good actor. Mm-hmm. He, he, I, he They both realize that voice acting is different. And they have distinctive voices, so it's fine. I will watch. I would watch Patrick Warburton as play Napoleon him Dynamite. boys. Actually, yes. Uh, I was going to say as Brock Dynamite. Samson, but also Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I do Napoleon that. Napoleon Dynamite. That would be an interesting casting. I'm choice. trying to think of what Pat, like Putty as yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I love liars. <laughs> that's pretty good that is pretty yeah, good that's i'm just really gonna good. hang out with my loggers <laughs> you're even doing your face change with your that was really good well, that, that was that should was really you go to some voice could you impersonate every person on the cast of napoleon dynamite this is a lot to ask this is a him. lot to could ask. you do that can we hear uh, warburton's pedro <laughs> yeah could we hear uh napoleon i trusted you <laughs> 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 I we were friends. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And you even now, furrow your brow. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to furrow your brow, brow to be putty. That's really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> could you do d- more birds? <laughs> that <laughs> thinking of doing this. I, I want. I want to hear it. <laughs> Which one was it? Deb? Warburton's Deb. Deb? Yeah. Which one's De- Deb? Is Deb the, is the, the girl? The girl? Oh, the girl. Uh, the girl that's not Napoleon. the grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl. Uh, God, Napoleon, you're so good at things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to give you a new challenge. It's Diedrich Bader as Patrick Warburton. Okay. This is too complex. In, in the tick. In the tick. In, oh my God! I love uh, this. making this hard. Um, I uh, Diedrich Bader is harder. He's yeah. like he's down. He's like around here. <laughs> But he's doing Warburton. This, oh, this is ooh, complex. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I okay, like right. that is that is it's too far. I, I really try. I was like, uh, 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 uh. what about? It just sounds like I'm getting turned on <laughs> as Dietrich Vader. <laughs> what about uh, H. John Benjamin as Patrick Warburton? Oh, uh, <laughs> they're very similar. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're very similar. Uh, no, uh, no, it's it's yeah. Okay, we're. There's some... I'm cutting some of these. <laughs> <laughs> leave them all in please four leave hour them episode. All in. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> My voice just slowly gets ragged. <laughs> I think we need to recommend shows. Right? Yeah, I please. Yeah. I've yeah. been okay. trying. Yeah, uh, I, I, earlier, I mentioned home movies. Everybody watch home movies. Home movies it's a good is show. I love yeah, home movies. Home movies is... Peak Adult Swim. I love. Yeah, I love home movies. It's very good. Uh, well, if you want to watch something that is an animation that was based on a movie that there's a new Scott Pilgrim anime called 
Scott Pilgrim Takes Off that we just watched, me and Kendra, and it was really, it was very good. It's really good. It's actually it's, quite good. It's not a repeat of the movie or the comic book. No, they it's like refresh some things. Yeah. All the voice actors are like successful, so you don't feel bad for them. And they're all, <laughs> yeah, you're not Michael, like, wow, this is sad. Michael Sarah has definitely aged, but I'm not going to yeah. hel- hold the passage of time against him. I it's will. Okay. I will. <laughs> It's weird uh, though. It's he still has a high school girlfriend. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does say they do say something about that though. Remember they say something where I he's mean, like, "Oh, I guess in society now, a twenty-three-year-old dating a seventeen-year-old is not cool." But even in the original, yeah. everyone was like, "Scott, what yeah, the fuck? Scott, why do you have a high school?" Yeah, girlfriend? like no yeah, one was like, "He this is, is a loser." Great. Yeah, no, he's, he's a loser. loser he in the original. That is yeah. that is the thing of. Anyway, we'll stop talking about. It. Yeah. But the cultural commentary thing of like, if you have a character who's a loser, they should be doing bad things. Yes, yes. like that yeah. is part of you're not supposed to necessarily yeah. want to be them yes, yes exactly. exactly like it well, was all why is weird. his band cool huh his band is, <laughs> is really <it>? cool <laughs> sex bomb they wouldn't have had beck write songs for it if it wasn't cool <laughs> <laughs> how could it not be cool we got Absolutely beck involved beck. <laughs> all right kendra then, recommend a show yeah uh, recommend a show um I, I do like Fiona and Cake, which is like oh, an yeah, Adventure Time good. spinoff. It's it it's a it is geared towards not like kids like Adventure Time. I would say like young adults. The animation good. is good. Um, also another thing, I don't real I don't like the writing. I guess the opposite of Napoleon Dynamite. I don't like the writing of the show, but the animation and character design is really good. Uh, Ugly Americans. I think it's really fun. Oh, to look at. Ugly Americans. That's yeah. a that uh, that's a deep cut. It's a deep cut. Central. Yeah. Great. Why were you watching that? Uh, just it was like on Paramount, and I was like, I'll just throw it on. But I I, I really <laughs> when were you watching that? Secretly. Like during. Were you, I'm were you watching Ugly <laughs> Americans without <laughs> me like during the Secretly pandemic? In our home. Oh, Actually, okay, not I'm, in our home. Not in our. Yeah, home. I I won't say the <laughs> writing's <laughs> awful, but I think the character design is the Get fun it. part. Like it's yeah, fun to just watch because like the character design's really good. Uh, I'll right. recommend a show that's kind of ugly in animation, but really good and doing a much better job at that kind of like stilted style yeah. in a good way. It's a uh, Carol and the end of the world. It just came out on Netflix. I, I want to watch see that. that. Yeah, it just I came out. Uh, Martha. Well, I guess it, it'll have come out for like a month, uh, but like Martha Plimpton. Is not that is that the right name? I think I know who you No, mean. I'm not the, Martha Kelly. Martha mean. Kelly. Martha Kelly. Yeah. Martha yeah. Kelly. I, there are only so many Marthas yeah. I can remember. <laughs> but uh, her voice would be like perfect for that. She's I great think, yeah. in it. And it's yeah. so it's it really is doing a good job of engineering like the depression around the apocalypse in a very interesting way that cool. uh, okay. I like a lot. I actually just saw an ad for that today and I was like, I really want to watch this. So Well now I'm, you've seen two. I've seen two ads. I've paid off by Netflix, you fucks. <laughs> 